Well, you're watching the pairs final of the St Peter's Darts Open held at the St Peter's Social Club in Carshalton on the 23rd of October 2016. For more information about the club you can find the link to their Facebook group in the description of this video. This pairs finale is between Hertfordshire's Alfie Smith and Robin Wigg and the duo from Essex, Sean Lovett and Paul Barham. Bradley Smith is chalking and Lee Campbell is the match referee. Well it's best of nine legs this and played over 6.01 as they prepare to pull up to the side who throws first. Barham and Lovett's route to the final included a couple of last leg deciders overcame Darren Clark and Tom Pavitt from Surrey that was a great game and then they just edged past Rob Cross and Rob Abbott by the same scoreline in the semi-finals And a nice start from Lovett there. Former World Youth Masters winner in 2013. And a nice start from Smith. Smith and Wig from Hertfordshire. Both play for the Surrey. Not Surrey, sorry. Uh, the Hertfordshire Super League team, South Oxey. And fairly close in the early stages of this first leg. Well, Alfie Smith. Reached the quarterfinals of the Gibraltar Open earlier this year. And generally plays for Hertfordshire's County A team. A lot of experience on this stage. As Wig looks to lower their score and this is a great set of darts from Wig leaves them tops after 15 darts it's all the more impressive because it's a leg of 601 of course and good pressure from Lovett so tops for Smith chance of a 16 darter double 10 then well that's a Great start, and that'll settle their nerves. An early hold of throw. Bottom start straight away. And a great start. First to five, remember, takes the title on this occasion. Well, Lovett has been playing on the PDC development tour this season. Eventually finished 60th in the order of merit there. One hundred. Nice adjustment from Smith. Well, Barham is the only one of the four players here to have World Championship experience. Nice last start. He, of course, qualified for the. 2012 16. World Championship at Alex Alexandra Palace. Lost out to Scott McKenzie on that occasion. 140. Nice starts from Lovett there. Puts them in charge of this leg. Oh. 
So it starts on the 20s. Oh, so 11 for Bullseye potentially. Oh. <laughs> so he sets it up. And there's no pressure on them on this occasion. Well ahead, so we can just hope to lower it. Nice start from both pairs. Double four for Lovett then. Now Barham will have another opportunity. So double two for one apiece. Double one then. Well, Smith and Wig still not on a finish here. So Lovett will have another opportunity. Bit of pressure on it this time though. Two Clark combination left for Smith and Wig. And one apiece then. Nicely mopped up from Lovett. Yes, Lovett is actually ninth on the Super League averages this year in London. Still early days, of course, in the Super League season at this time of the year. As we look for a cloth for the board. And Smith to kick us underway in this third leg. I switch. Well, Barham was a Order of Merit winner on the development tour on the PDC side of things in 2011. Just looking to recapture that form now. Those love it very well. Two of them play in both the London and the Essex Super Leagues for Southend and Romford, respectively. And that's unfortunate for Smith. The Barham scoring has been pretty steady here. Commentator's curse. There's a nice dance from Wig. Wig has actually represented uh, Hertfordshire on five occasions at the BDO Lakeside World Qualifiers. He's reached the World Masters on three occasions. So a lot of experience on that stage. Smith looks to be in here. 100. Well, Smith and Wig probably the favourites now for this leg, or they're well ahead. 43. Pairs such a difficult form of the game to get your rhythm. 138 for Smith then, so we'll start on the 20s presumably. Yep, this is on. So we needed an 18. Well, leaves double 17 for next time and they're well ahead, so... Will Wig go straight at it, or...? And the answer's no, so double 16. 4 2 one. Not quite, but well ahead in this leg and they'll have another chance. As Lovett looks to apply some kind of pressure. And a nice last one, so there's pressure on this double 16. 
Well, straight in, and that's 2 1, a 25 dart leg there. Barham and Lovett. Well, now with throw, these are good darts from Barham. And a great start. Barham was a finalist in the BDO Gold Cup in 2015. So still playing to a very good level. Love it is. You yeah, haven't scored 17, not 7. <laughs> 59. And they look to be in charge of this leg, the Essex duo. Barham has been to Q School actually on the last the last three years. So he's used to playing at a high level. As are all these guys, of course. Love it's not happy at the moment. The potential opening for Smith and Wig. Trebles eluding them at this point. And this is better from Barham. One hundred. Thirty-six. Well, the Essex pair well ahead in this leg. Got to be favourites now to level it up. You'd have to say. That gets them down to a two dart combination. Smith and Wig way back at the moment. 40. So treble 20. 78 left, so treble 18. And that's double 12. Very nice. Very nice darts there. Fifth leg. And a nice show of respect, all smiles, game being played in the right spirit, it's good to see. So two apiece, Smith and Wig, not the start they would be hoping for. So it's all on throw here, I just feel that the first break of throw it will be even more crucial than usual on this occasion. 16. Yeah, good darts from Barham. Barham had a PDC tour card for two years between 2012 and 2013. Still not happy, but we do have the initiative in this leg. And a nice switch from Smith. Keeps the minute. Yes, fan fantastic stuff there. They've essentially stolen the throw here. Although that's nice. Back to back one two fives. Ninety. Well, that gets them down to a finish. And Smith looks to reply. And this leg's hotting up now. Good darts, more concerned. Yep, this is still on, so triple 18 needed. Oh, he stayed there. So 66 left. So you'd think trouble 10. Love it, not... So far, I'm not sure. Um, not sure what he was going for there, but 
57 left if they get the opportunity. Treble 20 needed for Wig. Not on this occasion. 56 well, 17 needed. Four tops for Lovett. And there it is. 21 dart leg that. And a break of throw. And 3 2 is the lead. Crucial break of throw that you just feel. It's a very close game this. Scoring may just be the difference at the moment. 11 tons for the Essex duo. Compared to five, just, just the five from Smith and Wig. Great stuff. Love it at the moment is ninth in London Super League averages so far this season. Very high standard that. And these are good from Barham. And that's the first maximum of this final. I think Lee Campbell enjoyed. Shouting that out on the microphone. <laughs> All smiles on stage. It's good to see. <laughs> well, Lovett gets them down to a finish first. Smith and Wig some way back at the moment. And these are good darts. Ooh, nearly another one. Well, that helps. <laughs> so treble 20 to start for Barham. Always oh, going for the 619s route. 64 scored. Leaves Lovett a two dark combination. Smith way back at the moment. Well, still not on a finish, so six starts from here for Lovett, treble 20. Very nice, so tops. Yes, very nice. Great darts, that's an 18 dart leg. That's 4-2, that puts them within one of victory to take the title. So Smith will get us underway in this seventh leg. Oh, smiles. <laughs> but they are throwing to stay in this final. Well, that's a steady start. Oh, to <laughs> could it be another one? Pausing, dramatic effect. Oh, and it is there. <laughs> another maximum. Belted out with a plum from Lee Campbell there, very good. <laughs> but that essentially gets them the advantage here. Well, that was four perfect darts in a row. <laughs> Can Wig find a treble? He can't. So, Marham oh, still with the initiative here. Well found. <laughs> the match referee has got the giggles. <laughs> 57. Well, a big score here from Lovett could prove 30. decisive, but only 30, so a chink of light for Wig. Well, that gets them down to a finish. Would have liked to treble, of course. 
And this is better from Smith. Yeah, it's very nice. And pressure's on this one for eight. Now only an outside opportunity. Thirty-five. One one four for Wig now. Only one trouble needed in this to be, have a chance, but it won't be this time. Fourteen. One one three to take the title for Barham. So treble twenty. Thirteen, you would think for tops. Tops for the win. Well, a reprieve for Smith, so treble 14, you would think single 20, four tops to stay in the match. Some way off in the end, and it's tops now, 4-5-2 win for Lovett, and he's hit this on the previous two legs. Lower, double 10 then, and it's there. And all smiles on the stage, and that's great to see. But Paul Barham and Steve Lo Short, sorry, not Steve Lovett, apologies. Paul Barham and Sean Lovett take the win 5 2 there in a very close final, it has to be said, and played in a great spirit. Have a look at the averages there. Very steady 27.51 for the Essex duo, and 24.96 for Smith and Wig. Congratulations, Paul Barham and Sean Lovett, and thank you for watching.